All right, guys, what's going on? This is Matt here. I am back today to try this uh, Nika Rustica, if I'm saying this right. On the cap, it has like a small little pigtail, and it has a closed foot on it, if you can see it. So, uh... I don't think I've had this before. I think I bought it in like a sampler pack that I bought. I don't know, it could have been six, eight months ago or something like that. And I was looking through my humidor because I'm about out of cigars. And I was just trying to find something to smoke to do a review on. And um, found this one in the bottom of the humidor. And uh, I don't know if it came with one or two, but I only seen this once. So I don't know if I smoked one already or, or not. I'm really not sure, but I don't remember smoking if I did. Smells good. Uh, of course, I'm going to use my V cut. It's like a Toro size, I believe. Pretty sure. I would say that's a perfect draw. It's perfect for me right there. Think about these closed foot, you really can't toast them because there ain't really nothing there to toast with the closed end. So much like I put the lighter up there and just start puffing away. And this is a cigar by Drew Estates. I wonder what made me think of that. So, while I smoke on this for a few minutes, so, uh, Where's Matt been, right? Haven't done a review in what? Week, two weeks now? Something like that? Well, uh, my dad passed away. So, uh, I was going up, like, even before he passed away, I was going over there every day, spending time with him and stuff. And, uh, then he passed away, and, you know, I was dealing with all that and just, uh, you know, just taking a break from YouTube and just, Spending some time with my family and uh, getting everything situated and everything. So uh, now here it is Monday, a couple weeks later. I think I've had one cigar since then, and that was over the weekend. Uh, come out here because it's a nice, pretty day. Smoked a cigar and uh, even had a, a couple guys from the neighborhood come down and uh, they smoked a cigar with me as well, so that was pretty cool. Uh, wasn't able to do a review that day just because, you know, had people over, had a bunch of kids from the neighborhood down here playing. It had just been too loud, so I decided to do one today. And uh, it's another reason I'm about out of uh, cigars to do on uh, for reviews. My humidor is full, but it's cigars that I've done reviews on already or you know, just some cheap, you know, couple dollar sticks cigars that I'd smoke around the house when I'm cutting grass or, you know, I want to smoke half of it and throw it away. It don't really matter to me. But uh been meaning to get up uh, get up to Mooresville to go to that JR cigar store. Uh, I'm going to try to do it maybe this weekend. But uh, I need to pick me up quite a few cigars, so to do reviews on. So this is probably my last one uh, that I haven't done a review on yet in my humidor. Because like I say, I, I buy a bunch of five pack, 10 packs, and you know, of course I got 
uh, a bunch that I've done reviews on, like the Brazilias, the Flatheads, and, you know, Camachos, and just all them ones I've done reviews on. That's what I got my humidor now. And a bunch of cheap, uh, cheap sticks, too, like JR Alternatives and uh, Olivas, Florida Olivas. That's like the cheap Olivas sticks that they make. They're like $2 a piece or something like that. Which are not bad, but they're not great neither. What else did I see? I had some back rats in there that I've had in there for a long, long time. A uh, bunch of other ones. Cinco Vegas, the Golds, you know. I, had, I got some mild sticks in there, but it's just something I smoke when I first started smoking cigars, you know, like the mild sticks, and now I'm just not really into it, but uh, I guess I could still do a review on them, you know. I'm sure there's people out there that would like to see it. But anyway, back to the stick now. Tasting like it's natural tobacco. And um, I'm going to say like an earth and like a little bit of sweetness, like the natural tobacco sweetness. Maybe like a hint of cocoa, I'm going to say. But that earth and like that natural tobacco flavor is more dominant than anything. So, uh, of course, it's putting out plenty of smoke. It's got a nice draw on it, perfect draw. So, uh, I'm going to say, so far, not bad. Very light smoke, no spice. Really no aftertaste at all. Not bad though. I guess uh let me just smoke this down a little bit more. A couple inches or so. See if I get any flavor change and uh I will get back with y'all. Alright guys, I'm back. I am a good, I'm going to say 20 minutes in. A good 2 inches down. Nice clean burn. No burn issues. Plenty of smoke output. The flavors hasn't really changed a bit. It's uh, more of like the natural tobacco and earth flavors than just a little bit of sweetness of like a cocoa. And that's about it. No spice or anything. The smoke is really, really light in my mouth. It's like no uh, aftertaste a bit, like on my tongue or in my mouth. So uh, more like a medium, medium body, medium strength cigar. That's what I'm gonna call it anyway. So I just wanna give you a quick update. I'm going to smoke this down a little bit more to the band. About another good two inches or so. And uh, I will get back with y'all again. Alright guys, I am back. I am down to pretty much a nub here, as you can see. I already took the band off. Uh, I didn't uh, give y'all an update when I got to the band just because there was no flavor change. So I just kept smoking it. Um, Here's a picture of the band that I took off. So there wasn't no flavor change in it. Uh, even now this last third, still pretty much the same. But I am getting kind of like a spice. I wouldn't call it like a pepper spice. I would call it more like this cinnamon kind of spice I'm getting off of it. 
But uh, other than that, everything stayed the same throughout the cigar. I would say it's a pretty good cigar. I would definitely buy more of them. Of course, Drew Estates, you know, I like pretty much all their cigars. They're always pretty good to me. So I would say if you haven't tried this Nica Rustica, if I'm saying it right, um, give it a shot. So uh, like I said, I'm down to the last little bit here. I'm going to just end the video now. Go in because it's getting kind of chilly out here. It's getting kind of late. So uh, like I say in all my videos, please subscribe, give me a thumbs up, a comment, and I will see you all in the next one. Thanks.